Oof, I got a juicy one for you guys today. It's the five principles of profitability in trading. I call it the five P's. This video just isn't for people that aren't profitable. If you're a trader at any point in your career, you're gonna wanna listen to this. First P, and there's a reason why it's the first one. It's the most important, patience and planning. How many of you are just not patient in your trading? You log into your broker in the morning and you take 10 trades in the day. You're up, you're down, you're all over the place, and then you end the day break even. You're not being patient. You gotta wait for your setups. And more importantly, you gotta plan your setups. Have a plan. If you don't have a trading plan, you need to write one tonight. Number two is prosperity. Some people call this the abundance mindset. What do I mean by that? You have to believe you can be profitable. You have to believe the stock can go higher or if you're shorting, that the stock can go lower. Guys, the market can do whatever it wants and it will consistently surprise us and shock us on what it does next. Always believe in your profit targets and beyond. A good way to practice this is to leave runners. Don't put limitations on the market, okay? Think prosperity, think abundance. Don't be in a state of lack or a state of scarcity. Number three, protection. You gotta have a stop loss or at least a level where you say, if we get to here, I'm cutting it. I'm getting out no matter what. Too many people start trading with beginner's luck and then just let the whole thing slide away because they didn't protect their capital. Number four, this is a big one, pride. If you're gonna be a winning trader, you have to have a death to your ego. How many traders, and this happens to a lot of traders, they get a little bit in the green and they take their profits and run, but they let their losers go into huge drawdown. Why is that? Pride. They can't stand the idea of losing, so they hold on to their losers and they cut their winners short. See how these are all stacking on top of each other? This also ties into prosperity, that mindset. And number five, practice and persistence. It's very important in your time off from trading that you're putting in the reps, that you're back trading, that you're practicing your strategy, that you're getting familiar with your strategy and that you're persistent in doing it. Don't give up guys, you can do this. So if you struggle with one through five, you're probably dealing with one other P, which is pain. Pain will continue over and over and over until these lessons are learned, I promise you. And I've actually got a bonus number six for you. If you're struggling to dial these in, you've got to integrate number six, which is punishment. Oh, but Calvin, I lost a bunch of money on the trade and I, I drank myself into oblivion and my holiday was ruined. Isn't that pain enough? No, it's not. Because guess what? Some of you are actually addicted to pain. Some of you are addicted to losing money, as weird as that might sound. Some of us are addicted to drama. And that goes into childhood wounds and all sorts of other stuff. But what I'm saying is you need to integrate punishment. If you find yourself breaking one through five consistently, you need to have a real punishment in place. If I break my plan or my rules, I'm not gonna drink for six months or I'm gonna go help someone move their whole house for free out of the kindness of my heart. The difference between pain and punishment is pain, once it's over, you experience relief. Punishment, you sit in it and you think about it over and over and over until it's burned into your brain and you never do it again. So integrate punishment into your plan if you break one through five. I hope this helps you. This is something that I personally had to learn over the course of five years. But once you master these five, you will become profitable, period.